Hi, my name is Mayur. We are discussing about MGD Outliers package and its Outlier Ninja class. In today's video, we will learn about get outlier count method of this class. Using this method, we can find out the number of outliers across all every columns in the given dataset. So let's see how it is done. Just to save time, I have already prepared a notebook in which I have imported the basic libraries and the dataset. In the next part, I have run a block of code which will plot the box plot for each numeric column from the dataset. So as you can see, there are some outliers in alcohol and not distracted column. Alright, now we know that there are some outliers. Let's go and catch them using our outlier ninja class. So for that first we will import outlier ninja class from mgd outliers then we will create an object of this class and also fit it on our data now the object is trained now let's quickly cross check whether the class has identified the numeric columns from the data set and as you can see the class has correctly picked up the numerical columns from the data set now to see the outlier count in each column, we will call the get outlier count method on this object. So outliers dot get outlier count. And if I press shift plus tab, you can see this method takes three arguments, column names, kind and decimal. When you don't specify anything here, it will give you outlier counts across all the numeric columns in the data set. So it looks like this. So these are the all numeric columns and you can see alcohol column has three outliers and not distracted column has one outlier. We can also cross check this with the box plots that we already created. So you can see here that alcohol has three outliers and also not distracted has one outlier here so that means this works pretty well now what if i want to check outlier counts across alcohol and in losses columns only for that i will simply pass these names as list to column names argument so i have to just pass these names as a list alcohol and ends process now this will return me only those two columns so as you can see alcohol and ends losses are displayed here now what if i want to get these values as a percentage instead of numeric count for that I will use the kind argument so I will just copy paste this here and I will use kind argument as PERC uh, and it will return me the similar series but this time I will get the values as percentage instead of numeric count and I can also pass this decimal argument as 4 so I will get uh, this value up to four decimal places and that's how the get outlier count method works thanks for watching this video